Good afternoon everyone. In this video, I'm going to present how to design the electrical harnesses and the schematic for automotive electrical vehicle using SOLIDWORKS Electrical. Let us go on and see how it can be done. When we talk about the electrical vehicle, there are various industry design challenges where we need to take in care of. For example, vehicle electrical system architecture, like topology representation, the electrical design representation. It can be the harness definition when we talk about the harness as a sub-assembly running, connecting different systems and subsystems on the vehicle. It can be the connector database, it can be the harness definitions or the routing, manufacturing drawing and lighting drawings. Similarly, the vehicle control charger or engine control units, the PCBs, the instrument cluster PCBs, harnesses running between the PCBs and so on. The challenges associated with that, the design, manufacturability and so on. When it comes to prototyping, when designers working on the PCB systems and subsystems, there are number of iterations might happen during the phase of the design communicating back and forth between the electrical and the mechanical departments. So there is a challenge associated with connecting different departments, working on the same project, collaboratively share the project data between them in dynamic way. And finally, the challenge associated with the manufacturing documentation in terms of the producing the wiring reports, harness reports, it can be run list, it can be the cut list, it can be the circuit bomb or electromechanical bill of material or the wiring list and so on. Right, so when we talk about uh, individual challenges, the vehicle system architecture, the topology of the vehicle can be very well represented using SOLIDWORKS electrical solution, by adding the topology of the vehicle, defining the architecture inside, and the conventional architecture along with the system architecture can also be implemented by adding the various systems and subsystems, including the, like the, the, uh, the wiper controls, the climate control, the battery controllers, or uh, it might be the cruise controller, the, the, uh, you know, the charge control, and so on. Next comes into our mind, the wiring harness definition, wherein we have various harnesses running inside our uh, electric vehicle connecting different subsystems, for example, the batteries, the control units, battery management systems, uh, male and female combination of the uh, you know, uh, plugs which are connecting a part of your accelerators, and so on. The detailed drawing can also be implemented connecting different turbines uh, with the end connectors of LUX with the different subsystems. Next comes into your mind when we talk about, we have already spoken about the schematic design. We will talk now about how the schematic or an electrical design can be implemented efficiently using uh, in, in the mechanical uh, design. So for that, we have a, a tool called SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D, wherein we can very well implement and connect, collaborate the electrical design into the mechanical design and route the cables, harnesses, and represent the final manufacturing documentation like the farm board or nail board representation using that. It is very well evident from this figure. You can see the, the bottom of the car. You can see the, uh, you know, the underframe of the car having harnesses running, connecting different um, you know, internal harnesses, right? Finally, we can produce the farm board representation drawing are using uh, SOLIDWORKS electrical uh, schematic and electrical 3D solution. Let us go on and see that how it can be done using our SOLIDWORKS electrical application. So this is SOLIDWORKS electrical UI wherein you can see uh, the project has been formulated and uh, um, the electrical vehicle project wherein you can see it, the single end diagram wherein different system subsystems as I said, the charging mechanism you will have the car uh, no, like adapters, batteries, battery management systems, or the car accelerator, and so on and so on. The detailed way of electrical schematic are also being represented here, uh, no, which can be evident here. You can see it. 
different systems, subsystems. Detail has been connected with the end connectors like the fork or pin type or uh, the button type uh, LUTs, right? Now we'll see that how to add the components, a few of these LUTs onto this particular charger adapter and then charger female plug. For that, I need to go to the insert component. I'll choose a symbol, which is part of my uh, no, uh, wiring and terminations. I'll choose that blue sleeve, bring the particular symbol and it is actually uh, easily snap it onto my wiring. I'll click on that when the desired position is captured on the schematic. I'll say okay on this and it uh, populates a simple properties window. I'll go to that and search for a manufacturing part, remove the filters. I'll search for a LUT as a manufacturing part. I'll choose that particular manufacturing part, add that into, once that is done, my simple definition has been done. The other way of you know, adding the component is once you have the similar kind of a symbol, you can just copy it and paste. And here, using solder cell application, there is no way a uh, user can commit a, a duplication because the component will automatically take the next subsequent number when you place the component or the symbol on the schematic. Now I have the components. I have very well defined the uh, part number also. Now I'll add the entire schematic into harness. I just add and remove the harness, go here, select the particular harness where it, to, it is to be part of. I'll say okay and zoom in, save this. Now I have added into the harness. Let us go on and examine uh, into the mechanical 3D, how do we produce the harness, routing, and then flatten options here. Now you can see, um, this is a vehicle, this is an electric vehicle from Tesla, and this is being getting charged using this charging station, right? So I say, I click on this, and for the ease of our harness running, I'll just hide this particular component on the top so that the internal components can be very well visible for this, all right? Now I have all the internal components. You can see the batteries, the traction motor, the you know, engine control unit, the, the relay modules, and you can also see uh, the instrument cluster uh, and the GPS tracking, PCBs, different relay modules. There is an accelerator uh, you know, uh, connections with the plugs, and then there are speakers, right? Now I need to add a few connectors which I've added in the uh, electrical tool. So how do I add these things? So I can go to, I will first check that what is what are these components which I have added newly. So the component which I have added for this car female plug is SOLIDWORKS underscore disk one and disk two. So when I go back to mechanical 3D, I can easily see where it can be inserted. This has to be inserted into this particular plug. So I'll go to the SOLIDWORKS electrical tool. Let me identify where my SOLIDWORKS disk one and disk two components are there. I'll click on that, insert, little bit zoom in. I'll insert this particular component. Right, and I'll take the correct orientation of this component. Had a mating reference. Once I mated it, I have the component inside. So I'll say close on this. I'm going to insert one more component on this. I'll say okay. The component has come. Now I'll just rotate to the desired direction to be aligned. I have added this component here. Now you can see the component has been added right now i'm going to run the harnesses between these logical devices which have been logically connected from 2d side i'll go to the harnesses now i have all the components assigned associated and well defined in um, electrical 3d and it is ready for routing now now i'm going to uh, say that all the harnesses need to be routed i'll give some parameters to it the harness parameters like 150 and um, 600 uh, I'll say yes on the harnesses. So I just zoom in a little bit. I'll say yes on the harnesses. Once the routing has been done, we will see a routing analysis window where it will actually analyze the faults or the warnings, which is uh, no, part of our routing analysis, which can be populated here. So this table basically gives us the information about a few of the errors associated like uh, the manufacturing part are not inserted for the components, which are part of the project. For example, that E1, J22, X4, these are the connectors, lugs not inserted. And it'll also tell us a few more things like the harness components are not inserted. It has been part of the other assemblies and it'll tell a uh, few other bend radius errors also part of this. So we can easily diagnose these problems. You can fix the problems uh, no, here itself and go ahead with your harnesses. Now you can see it is well evident that our harness 
connecting different systems of systems of the electric vehicle car under frame connecting the batteries the traction systems and the vehicle control unit and we'll have the battery you uh, know the inverter the some base supply and a few of the other things for the charger things you can actually see the cables running from the charging station to the charging station cable is coming and then from there you can see it is being connected to the other substitutes of the vehicle under frame vehicle connected to the batteries it has been looped you can see the looping inside the batteries right and it is being connected to the heat sinks few of the heat sink it is being connected and few of these meters the speedometers and few other things you can see the dc old meter it has been connected and few of the switches and the dashboard or instrument cluster pcbs for gps tracking or accelerator tracking or charger control and this is the relay module and few other batteries for uh, you know, our speaker loads and the accelerator you know, pedals uh, connections to it once we have all these data the harness has been populated so we can flatten this particular cable using Right click on the assembly and populate as the flattening drawing, right? So once we do that, we can have the harness populated as a flattened drawing. You can see that the harness has been populated as a flattened drawing with all the connectors with the segmented length, with the annotations, right? With individual code information has been populated on this with the character tables. You can see the character tables here and the bill of material having part number description material stock size weight quantity and length so the length can be calculated for the wires which are part of the harness you can see the individual uh, no, wire length which has been running inside the machine right and you will also see along with the character table circuit bomb run list and all we'll see the circuit summary which depicts the individual wire information with from to information and the length associated with it with the core the conductor wire id and so on you can easily see that this particular wire which is having the conductor id n underscore two having the color of blue color the length it has run in harness after flatten it is taken the actual flatten length 2000 uh, no 54.81 millimeters which is actually two meters length approximately so which is running between x1 terminal uh, connector terminal number a1 to x2 terminal connector the pin number a a1 double a1 so likewise you can have a detailed pin list wiring list the cable length or a wire length calculation on the on this thing and the neighborhood representation can be achieved along with that once we come back here into uh, 2d or maybe you can produce from the 3d we can very well produce different types of reports which can be populated uh, and added to the document, the project documentation. For example, I'm going to create a few of these uh, no harness reports and list of cabling report and list of wise report. Uh, you know, do this. I'll say OK on this. Once I check those boxes, whichever the documents I require to be published for my project, that can be added and appended to the project tree also. And these reports, once it has been published, these reports can be shared with various different groups which are part of your project you can export these reports in excel reports we can export these in text format or xml formats once the particular thing has been done you can actually see the all the reports under manufacturing documents for example if i open the bill of materials a manufacturer wise bill of material has been achieved and a wiring list in harnesses those things have been done and few other uh, no, uh, reports have been populated here right so this way using solidworks electrical tool is a best fit for automotive industrial electrical vehicle and a few more aspects of it we have discussed about uh, no, electrical what comes into the pcb so when we talk about pcb i was talking about reducing prototypes with the pcb design uh, PCB form fit issues can be reduced and then seamless collaboration can be uh, uh, you know, achieved using SOLIDWORKS PCB. Uh, users can design the PCB layout, the schematic layout and the spice simulation can be achieved. 
right? And they can collaborate very well with the mechanical CAD once the layout has been populated. The, this is the same PCB, what you see here is the same PCB which has been part of my, uh, you know, uh, the instrument cluster PCB where it will actually sense the, the accelerator, uh, the, the accelerator, you know, things like that. You can also see the spice simulation over here. Once we have done the design on the electrical side and the mechanical side, we have done the collaboration. The final documentation on the PCB side where the assembly drawings or the bill of material on the, um, this one, the collaborative documents. And we'll also have the uh, net list, the Gerber files for the manufacturing of the PCBs can also be achieved using SOLIDWORKS PCB and SOLIDWORKS collaborative solution. Once we have done everything, we can produce the final project documentation which involves various different segments or design teams which is part of my project. It might be like electrical, it is, in, it includes mechanical, it includes uh, electronic design team like the PCBs and all. Uh, it can include the data management team where different data can be managed and then uh, you know, that can be um, incorporated in this particular project. So various different departments can be part of a project. All these documents can be very well managed using PDM solution, which is also uh, an integrated solution for SOLIDWORKS electrical as well as SOLIDWORKS PCB. Thanks for watching this video. With this, I'm going to do my session. Thank you all.